Welcome guys, welcome to my channel. This is Electro Teach channel, the channel where we teach information, knowledge of electronics, computer, instrumentation, and mathematics. Today we are looking at a further aspect of DC circuits. We are looking at resistors in parallel. Resistors in parallel. When we have resistances connected in parallel, we want to look at the equivalent resistance and the current that will flow to the branches. So we want to look at that today. Don't skip any part of this video. Watch to the end so as to learn, so as to learn every detail of how to determine resistors, the equivalent resistance of parallel branches, and also the equivalent current flowing in such a circuit. So when we have resistors in parallel, uh, we can have something like this. So we can have resistor R1, R2, R3. So now we want to look at the equivalent of these three resistances connected. We can have more than three, we can have four, five, as many as possible. So to determine the equivalent of resistances connected in parallel, we use this formula. The R total, that is total equivalent of the resistances. 1 over R total is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. Now, depending on as, uh, how many you have, you can have plus dot 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 plus 1 over Rn, and that is the last one. So we can have 2, we can have 3, we can have 4 so on so when you have resistances connected in parallel this is the applicable formula to determine the equivalent of those resistances now for resistances in parallel we can now uh, solve this equation for rt so rt will be the equivalent of the connected resistances but if you have only two connected for two resistances then we can uh, quickly determine what will be the equivalent of that. We can have two resistances connected in this manner. R1, R2. And then we want to determine the total, the total equivalent of this, which is RT. So 1 over RT plus 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. This is the applicable formula for two resistances connected in parallel. So if you solve this, we have 1 over RT equals, uh, the LCM is R1 multiplied by R2. And so when you add them up, we have R1 plus R2. So that if you want to make the RT the subject of this formula, you have RT equals, R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So when you look at it critically, we see that for two resistances connected in parallel, the equivalent resistance is the product of the two resistances divided by their sum. The product divided by their sum. That is applicable for only two resistances. When we have three or four or more, this is not applicable. We need to use the formula from the beginning, just like we did here to obtain this. All right. So we are going to look at an example on resistances in parallel. We want to look at it, uh, two resistors in parallel, and later on, we look at it, three resistors in a parallel. So let's start from two resistors. So we have two resistors in parallel in this manner. So we have a resistor R1 here, which is um, 3 ohms. And here we have 5 ohms. The equivalent of these resistances, RT equals R1, R2 over R1 plus R2. And that gives us 3 multiplied by 5 divided by 3 plus 5. 
that is 15 divided by 8. If you determine that on your calculator, then it gives us 1.875 ohms, and that is the final answer. Thanks for watching. Bye.